welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris, Chris Han. My Instagram is Chris Han XOXO. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite coffee table books. I've been collecting these books for so many years. They're not just my decorative items for coffee table and shelves, they're also my fashion inspiration. I'm a fashion influencer and photographer. I constantly look for those inspirations, mood boards, and try to learn more and to improve my own work. So my collection is a little bit different. Um, some of them, they are um, fashion books like designer brands, um, some fashion history and some interesting characters, some bios, and some of them, they're about uh, lifestyle and good illustrations to uh, inspire me. So if you are shopping for something new, something different, I think this video would be great for you. So keep watching, I hope you enjoy it. The Little Dictionary of Fashion by Christian Dior This one could be the best-selling fashion book. I had this book for a few years. I bought it because I really like the brand Dior. So I was curious to read Christian Dior's fashion dictionary. But just by the cover, this might not be the most decorative book I have. It's a wonderful book for learning designer fashion and haute couture fashion. It's like designer clothes, designer garment 101, that kind of book. A super light reading, but very, very informational. So its illustration is really graceful and charming. And it's just, you know, so classy. I love it. I enjoy every single bit of it. The fashion guide seems to be elegant. Um, the fashion rules by Dior sounds golden. If you follow these rules, you will never go wrong with your style. There's a lot of practical things in this book, like how to um, um, wear a hat, how to um, choose a scarf and how to wear a scarf. This is so um, practical for um, to upgrade your fashion style. It's a great coffee table book, also a very nice gift for her. How to be Parisian wherever you are. Love, style, and bad habits. This book is more than a fashion decorative book. In this book, the four authors are four French women who promote the romantic and fearless and don't give a shit that kind of Parisian lifestyle. Parisian style sounds a little bit cliche in some cultural contexts, but to me, these women are so fearless. They they're not afraid of making fun of their culture and style, their lifestyle basically, how they eat, how they dress and style, how they live their life and even their relationship. Um, they're everything that's in a very particular um, Parisian way. The tone is very witty and amusing. It's just so much fun to read this book. And I also love their vintage photography as well, the mood. Um, the lighting and their composition, everything seems to be effortless, very Frenchy, romantic, and sophisticated. If you want to experience the lifestyle of a Parisian woman and really get the insights of it, don't miss this book. The Lives of 50 Fashion Legends, Visual Biographies of the World's Greatest Designers by Fashionary. Fashionery has a lot of uh, fashion toolbox. My first fashionery books, as I remember, are their handbag design and shoe design. But I like this book the most. It's more about history of fashion and some insights of these brands from a business perspective. This book walks you through the history and story behind each designer um, and their brand and outlines how fashion industry changes and evolves over the years. Mm, the timeline in each illustration gives us a bigger picture of the fashion world. What happened each year and how these designers survive and thrive in an industry. Um, I am a big, big Chanel fan, so I really love the ones for Coco Chanel and Karl Lagerfeld. 
they're truly legendary. Um, I think you will find your own favorites from this book. It's a very nice collectible for anyone who loves fashion or works in the industry. New York through a fashion eye by Megan Hess. Megan Hess is probably the most successful fashion illustrator in recent years. She works for Chanel, Dior, and a lot of other incredible designers. I love her style, her work, and I always wanted a book from her. I bought this one before um, I attend my first New York Fashion Week show. I just want to learn more about the fashion of the city in an easy and entertaining way. So this book really shows the most elegant and fashionable side of the city through her beautiful illustration. You see yellow cabs and brand names everywhere. The best shops, the fine dining places, the travel guide. Megan is an insider, she got it all. The woman in her book is so trendy and classy. This book is for anyone who wants to fully experience New York City fashion and for our chic coffee table set. Coco Chanel, Three Weeks, 1962, by Douglas Kirkland. There are tons of good Chanel books presentable for your coffee table. This book is one of my favorites because it's very, very personal. It's almost like an intimate photography collection captured by this famous American celebrity photographer Kirkland. These photos were taken in Paris when Chanel was 79 and Kirkland was only 27. So I can see very interesting dynamics between the photographer and the character. These photos cover Chanel's fashion show, lookbook of her new collections, her personal lifestyle as a career woman, um, what she wore, where she went, it's just an extraordinary collection of Coco Chanel's later life, like these life moments, some behind the scenes and some fun things that we rarely found in media. I have been in the market to collect some of his uh, limited prints, but it's very, very hard to pick. I love every single one of them. So if you're a Chanel fan like me, you need a book. A Life of Style by Rebecca Moses. This is one of my favorite illustration books. Rebecca Moses is a very talented fashion designer and an illustrator. This book is her style journey. Her work, as you can see, is very imaginative and fearlessly chic. I was inspired by her fashion lifestyle and her exquisite taste for home decoration. Her watercolors in this book look so romantic and almost like innocent. They're very effortlessly beautiful. To me, it's a fashion fairy tale with lots of fun details and very entertaining female characters. Interestingly enough, a few weeks ago, I followed her on Instagram and kind of uh, connected with her virtually. So social media was really, really interesting. Some of my posts were actually inspired by her. And one day during quarantine, um, during COVID-19, like everybody is home, she reached out to me saying she wanted to share my story um, she, want, she wanted to drew me. I was like so honored and she drew this for me. It's one of my Instagram posts. This is like a dream. So the love for this illustration book is kind of personal. But I highly, highly recommend this book. If you are a fashion lover or interior decorator, you will be obsessed. Always Audrey. Six iconic photographers, one legendary star. Audrey is no doubt an iconic fashion star. For any photographers, taking her picture is just like a dream. You may see some of the portraitures in Vogue or other mainstream media already, 
This book features six of her photographers. They work for her through different time of her life, from portraitures, on-site photography to journalistic photography. She looks so sensational, lovely, and elegant. Her makeup, fashion, and career journey just inspired a lot of people. To me, I also admire these photographers and their different skill sets and different creativity, different ways of telling her story. And this book is pretty sizable and weighs a lot. So if you have a bigger table, this book would definitely looks would definitely look luxurious and fabulous on top of it. If you have a bigger coffee table, this book will look absolutely luxurious and fabulous on top of it. If not, it's still a nice collectible. I love it for just so many, so many reasons. This one is definitely a keeper. So these are my favorite coffee table books in the collection, and I hope you guys find something interesting. If you have any questions,、uh, use the comment box down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.